protection. Castro GTX drive hard. We understand our trainer, Danny Young, and his team of uh, assistants and medics currently tending to both Booker and the cat in the back. He's insisting that these men get medical treatment, but they refuse to leave the building as we see the courageous come in. Last Wednesday on Thunder with the top rope bottoms up. The newly reformed three count advance to the semifinals of the Cruiserweight Tag Team Tournament. Shannon Moore and Evan Courageous, a tremendous tag team, but this is a single contest. Evan Courageous in the ring awaits the arrival of his opponent, Sugar Shane Helms. Original KID started in 91 in the state of NC. In a place to be, your boy paid his dues with Hell's a basic spot on the marks off through. Vertebraker, we'll break your spine. Vertebraker, just a trick every time. Vertebraker, we'll slap your face. Vertebraker, break you like a bruise in the face. Chabonis take it on, Sugar Shane has arrived. Flexing opponents right on the backside. Sugar Shane Helms, a man who will have a chance to become the Cruiserweight champ in six days against Cabo Jr. But there has been an unsubstantiated rumor in the backstage area that the Cruiserweight champ Cabo Jr. went to Ric Flair a week ago and specifically requested that Shane Helms be booked to death before the pay-per-view this coming Sunday. Well, it looks like Flair is obliging the champ. Helms is going to work tonight. We understand he's going to work Wednesday, not on Thunder. And Chavo's got both nights off. Well, that's typical Chavo Guerrero. Having other people fight his battles for him, but Sunday night, oh! And Shane Helms is up to the challenge. Shane will be ready when we get to the great pay-per-view in six days in Jacksonville. Former tag team partners here at one time, of course, with Shannon Moore. All three men made up the team of three count. Now three count is two, of course. As we talked about earlier, Shannon and Evan Courageous. Shannon and Courageous, of course, will go in to Wednesday night to face Kidman and Ray. The winner of that tag team match will go on to face Romeo in primetime. Oh, look at this. For the Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Exploding out of the corner, Shane Helms. Sugar Shane taking the full measure here of Evan Courageous. Rocking Courageous, sending at least attempting to. Courageous turning around, though. It's an up power bomb in midair in a two count. Evan Courageous in 48 hours will participate in the semifinals of the Cruiserweight Tag Team Tournament. If he gets injured in this one, and he may very well, by ignoring his opponent with that driving the Cadillac stuff and showboating. Oh, concentrate on your opponent. Get the can after that shot. From the top in a cover, and referee Scott James says no, only a two count to Sugar Shane Helms. Once again, we will follow as best we can the injury update of Booker T and the Cat in the backstage area. Look at this from the top. Landing on his feet now was Courageous showing his power. Wow. Evan Courageous. And he tries him down with a great series of moves by Courageous to get Sugar Shane off his feet. Shane rolled over onto his stomach. Evan pulled him back. Only a two count that time. On Shane Hems, Evan Courageous already in the face of the referee, Scott James. Am I to understand, Tony, from what you said earlier, that Booker T and the Cat have not only refused medical attention, they refused to leave the building to go to a hospital? It's the way they are. They know that later on, Diamond Dallas Page will go in the ring against Rick Steiner. He's going for the vertebra breaker right now. It was countered by Evan Courageous. Forward roll. Good pin, one, two, but no, not good enough. Only a two count. Sugar Shane ducks, Ooh. but couldn't get out of the way of the back elbow that time from Evan Courageous. You know, the plan by Chavo Jr. may work here, one to two, because right now Evan Courageous is pushing Sugar Shane to the limit. He gets pushed here, don't know how long it's going to go, and then Wednesday night, and Chavo's got some off days. Fans were inside of a week from the great pay-per-view. Snap suplex by Evan Courageous. These men know each other. One year as members of Three Count before the implosion. You know, like any great band, they end up breaking up, and that's what happened to Three Count. Although, uh, I don't remember John, Paul, George, or Ringo getting in the ring with each other. Well, they may have. They'd still be together today in the midsection. Fighting for all he's worth is Sugar Shane, but Evan Courageous is all over him. You call Evan Courageous Mr. Oh. Offense here. Drops him down front side. He is taking the measure of Shane Helms. I think Evan yeah, is. is making a statement that maybe he should be the number one contender. Kidman and Mysterio should be watching this. 
Shane, though, back up top. As in the goal! Across the knee. Forehead first. Swing and neck breaker that time out of the left side corner. The innovator of offense, Shane Helms, can strike at any moment with any degree of authority. Just ask Evan, who thought he had it going his way, but Evan is right back in his face. Fans, as we bring you this action, we have to wonder the story of the attack, the mysterious attack on Madeja. What's going on there? Any more updates? Oh! Sugar smack and smacked him. He did. One, two. A lot of accusations, a lot of men within the Magnificent Seven under suspicion as far as Big Papa Pump's concerned. And of course, still to come, Rick Steiner will face Diamond Dallas Page in this telecast. Well, they're under suspicion by Big Papa Pump, right. Scott Steiner. Good move by Courage, front side and then back side. Dropping a sugar chain on the back of his head. Courageous will go for the pin, but he'll only get a two. Only a two can be Shane Helms has really felt the brunt of this flurry, this offense by Courageous, blatant chokehold in front of the referee, taking the wind supply out, and you can see right now that Sugar Shane's got to dig down deep here, Scott. He has spent, and he hits him with yet another offensive maneuver. Well, Evan Courageous, you can see at times, not going for the pin when he maybe should. He just wants to injure Shane and maybe get a little extra jack from Chavo Jr. This should be it, a spinning one, two, no, in a two count. What tenacity displayed by Sugar Shane Helms. Evan thought that should have been the three count. Well, we've got one of two count in there right now, but not the one that matters. Spinning corkscrew type splash from the top. Wait a minute. He's got him caught. He's going to try to pick him up, but no. What a counter. It could be as an oh. the nightmare on Helm Street. And a great counter in one, Scott. He said to call it a Monday Nitro nightmare on Helm Street, and that's what we saw. Just ask Evan. He just called for the burner breaker. If he hits this, no one's kicked out of it yet. Can he maneuver him up? Got the arms hooked. There you see it spins over. Evan trying to fight it off, but he's hooked on the back. Oh! Wow. What a move that is. Try to move every vertebrae in the spine. It's academic. It's breaker. If he gets Chavo in the burner breaker, he'll win it. But the question is, will he make it there 100% because he must wrestle? Oh, the double. Here he is. Here is Chavo Jr. After that matchup, Chavo has the stones to come in here and, oh, come on. Brain buster. And Chavo doesn't even have to wrestle tonight. Oh, yeah, what, what a real tough guy Chavo is. What a great champion. What a great role model. Hedging his bet is what he's doing, you're right, for Sunday night. And the greed pay-per-view. Remember, Sugar Shane's got a match Wednesday. Chavo has the night off. But tonight, 